want you to talk to the Lord. This is a prayer of repentance. Ask the Lord, Father, search me and know my heart. If there be any iniquity in me, if there be any sin in me, Lord, come and deliver me from it. Let me not walk into hell by myself. Because I will not heed your call to repentance. Talk to the Lord. Tell him. If I have offended you in any way, Lord, let me know. Help me to repent before you. Help me to turn aside, to turn away from these things that are not pleasing to you, Lord. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. We know those things that God does not like in our lives. As we read the Bible, we know the things that God does not like. As we hear messages, we know the things that God does not like. But we are doing them. And we are not repenting before the Lord. Sunday in and Sunday out, we go to church. We throng places of worship with our sins intact. The Bible says that he that covereth his sins shall not prosper. But he that confesseth and repudiates his sin, that person shall be blessed. God expects us at every turn even when we have first repented, after we have first repented, that we will come to him and seek his face and ask him to forgive us for all our sins. Even as we walk with God, we discover that we do certain things that are wrong. Then God says to us, repent. The spirit of, there is, the spirit of God is there nudging you. Do you know that that thing you did was wrong? Do you know that what you did was wrong? That God hates it? Repent. Repent. He will plead with you. Many will not listen. Then you will go to church. And you will hear the ambassadors for Christ. Crying from the pulpit. Pleading with you. Repent. Turn away. Turn away. Today we are hearing it. Make straight the crooked paths. Prepare your hearts. Let the Lord come in. Bring words before the Lord. Be sorrowful for your sin. And the Lord will accept you. And the Lord will receive you. Of course, we can't expect that in the short time we have in church here, this can be effectively done. But I plead with you, in your quiet moments at home. Go before God. Take time and talk to God. Be away from all human beings and tell him, Lord, I'm sorry for the sinful life I've been living. My thoughts are not pure. My thoughts are not right before you. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, save my soul. Ask the Lord to come and remove everything. Into my heart. Into my heart. Come into my heart. Lord Jesus. Come in today. Come in to stay. Into my heart, Lord Jesus. Into my heart, into my heart. Come into my heart, 
Lord Jesus, come in today, come in to stay, come in to my heart, Lord Jesus, I surrender. sinned against you. Father, we plead for your mercy. We have sinned against you in sexual immorality, in idolatrous practices, in hypocrisy, in lies, in deception and deceit. The blood of innocent lives are in our hands. As a church, we have not done what we ought to do in praying for sinners to come to you. We have not gone out to speak to the world. To turn away from their wicked ways. Because we also are living in iniquity. We go to church each day. With sins in our lives. And return from church with the sins still in an intact in our lives. Today Lord we plead with you. Have mercy on us Lord. Forgive us of our sins. Wash us clean, Lord. Many of us come with righteousness in our hearts that are as, as filthy as menstrual cloth. 
We cannot stand before you, Lord. We cannot even stand before our enemies. Because our sins are many before you. Because of the church, nations are entering more and more into sin. Even young ones who have the, the, the babes in Christ are sinning more because they see the mature ones sinning. How can a pastor come and tell this church that he wants to divorce his wife because the wife would not cover him up for his iniquitous practice? How can a man be pastoring a church of thousands and have two wives? With children. And we say we have not sinned. Oh Lord have mercy on us. For indeed confusion belongeth to us. We have done as we willed. And have not allowed your spirit any space in the church. It is the will of man that we see in the church. And not the will of God. We cannot even compare ourselves to the church in Thyatira. For indeed, they are better than us. Even the works that we bring, they are dead works. Because they are filled with iniquity upon iniquity. Father, have mercy on us. Indeed, you have purer eyes than to behold iniquity. Indeed, if you marked iniquity, who is it that can stand? Father, help us. Father, help us. Without you, we are lost. Without you, we are nothing. All our wealth, all our health, all our status means nothing without you. Father, help us. Father, help us. I have made you too small. In my eyes, oh Lord, forgive me. I have believed in a lie that you were unable to save me, but now, oh Lord. I see my wrong. Hear my cry and show yourself strong. And with my heart and with my soul, oh Lord, be magnified. Oh Lord, be magnified. Magnify, oh Lord, you are highly exalted, and there is nothing you can't do, oh Lord, my eyes are on you, be magnified. So, Heavenly Father, thank you for hearing us. Thank you for forgiving us. Thank you for loving us so much that you sent Jesus Christ to come and die on our behalf. We believe what Jesus Christ did on the cross was for us. We make confession of our sins now and we appropriate by faith the forgiveness of your son, Jesus Christ. Thank you, everlasting Father. As many, Lord, as will turn from their wicked ways and turn unto you, Father, I pray that you will forgive them. And that, Lord, you will wash them in the blood of Jesus. And that, Lord, you will make them whole again. Thank you, everlasting Father. Blessed be your name, in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen.
Amen.